All right, so a new topic uh, today is moments. Uh, I think you've done this in physics before, uh, but we'll start from the beginning. So moments are like a rotation, like a twisting. Uh, a moment is the tendency of an object to rotate. You know, in this class, even if it's not rotating, uh, a force that is applied some distance away from a point would cause that to want to rotate or to want to twist, right? Uh, you know this, right? With just uh, turning a wrench, you know, if you want to tighten a bolt. If you apply a force out here on the end of the arm of that wrench, uh, then it would want to twist, right? It would want to rotate. Um, and so what is the magnitude of this rotation, the magnitude of this tendency to rotate? Uh, well, the larger the force is, the larger the moment would be. Also, you know, the larger the distance, right? The larger that moment arm, that distance, we'll call it the moment arm, the larger that moment arm is, then the more the magnitude of the moment. Uh, the moment about point O, I'm going to say, M subscript O, so that subject is, you know, what point you are calculating your moment about. Moment about, in this case, about point O, right here, would be equal to force times distance. Would be equal to force times distance, right? Easy enough, right? The units would be, we're just going to leave the units for moment in whatever units the force and the distance are in. For example, Newton meters. If, it, if the force is in newtons, the distance is in meters, we'll just leave the moment as newton meters. All right, that's newton times meters, not newton slash meters. This tells me it's newton divided by meters, which is not true. It's newton times meters. I put a little dot right here, newton meters. Uh, maybe it's kilonewton meters. Maybe it's newton millimeters. Just leave them. Uh, maybe it's in English units, pound feet, pound inches. All right, just leave... Um, whatever units of force, whatever units of distance, right there. But it's not exactly always force times distance. This distance needs to be the perpendicular distance, perpendicular distance between F and the point O. Oh. All right. Perpendicular from the line of action of the force. Perpendicular from the line of action of the force. All right. Here's the line of action of the force. There's my perpendicular distance. All right. So it's force times perpendicular distance. Easy enough. The larger the force, the larger the perpendicular distance, then the larger the moment. All right, but what direction? You know, we're going to look at 2D moments uh, to begin with. And so if, if I'm using my, my usual X, Y, is this rotation in the X? Is it in the Y? Ooh, it's kind of uh, not really either. I mean, it is, let's, let's say, clockwise or counterclockwise clockwise or counterclockwise, but, you know, if we want to deal with vectors i, j, things like that, uh, we need to give it a vector, give it a direction. Uh, we're going to say that clockwise, well, let's start with counterclockwise. We're going to say counterclockwise is in the k direction. What, 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 why the k direction? What is the k direction? The k direction is the, is the z direction, right? The k direction is out of this page, if we're, if we're looking at a 2D problem, the K direction is out of the page. We can define some things by the plane it's in. And this rotation is in the XY plane. And we can define the XY plane in the K direction. Uh, we define it perpendic the direction perpendicular to the plane. All right. You can also use your right hand. If you, if you use your right hand and you curl your four fingers in the direction of the rotation, your thumb is pointing in the direction of the moment. That we're defining the moment. We're going to define the moment as our thumb. 
All right, so let me say that again. And I can't show you this on LUN. If you curl your four fingers from your right hand in the direction of the rotation, your thumb is pointed in the direction that we're going to define the moment. So counterclockwise is positive K. Clockwise is going to be negative K. All right, counterclockwise is positive K. Clockwise is going to be negative K. So let's look at this one. All right, so if we have a 100 Newton force acting, that's a perpendicular two meters away, this would kind of want to cause some rotation right here. The moment about O would be force times distance. The moment about O would be 200 Newton meters. But what direction? You see that this would be a clockwise direction, so this would be negative K. 200 Newton meters in the negative K direction would be that moment. Let's keep on going. These are real simple ones. All right. All right, what is the moment about O caused by this 50 Newton force? Well, it's force times perpendicular distance. The force is 50 Newtons, the perpendicular distance. Which of these dimensions is perpendicular to the line of action of the force? Uh, this 0 0.75, 0 0.75, right? So this moment would be uh, 50 times 0 0.75, 37.5. Whoop, 37.5. Uh, positive K or negative K? Now, it, it, it kind of showed us what direction this would be rotating, but if it didn't show us that, we've got to be able to visualize that. There's a few different ways uh, we can do it. I mean, I think some many times you can just see uh, what direction this would rotate. Or, if you're drawing this on a sheet of paper, you can put your finger... Put your finger down at O, and then push your piece of paper, push your piece of paper the where that 50 Newton force is pushing, and then you can kind of see that your piece of paper is going to want to kind of rotate clockwise. Um, or, I like to kind of think of it as putting maybe a string from here, and then pushing over and kind of thinking, how does that uh, rotate, or th this beam, this how, do, how would that rotate? All right. Uh, so, anyway, this would cause a clockwise rotation. Clockwise is negative K. I still need units somewhere. So, I, you can put your units out here. You could put your units before the K. I'm not real picky. Just give me some units and give me the direction. So, this moment about O would be negative 37.5 Newton meters in the K direction. How about this? The moment about O right here would be force times perpendicular distance. Perpendicular to the line of, here's my line of action. What is my perpendicular distance? Four and uh, two cosine 30. Multiply those together. 229.3. Uh, positive K or negative K, that would be clockwise, which is negative K units. Whoops, oops, oops, oops. Units were pound. Force was in pound. Distance was in feet, pound feet. All right, how about this next one? Moment about O would be 60 pounds times this perpendicular distance is that distance, one sine 45. That moment about O, 42.2. Uh, what direction this would be rotating? Um counterclockwise, which is positive K, pound feet, positive K. That one might have been a little bit harder to visualize the, the rotation. So a few different ways you can do it. Like I said, you can uh, put your finger down at that point and push the piece of paper over. That 60, push your piece of paper over that way. Kind of would want to rotate counterclockwise. Imagine if you have like a rope or a beam or something right there and you try to push it over, which way would that rotate? Uh, but one other thing, you can also bring your force anywhere on the line of action. 
you can take your force anywhere on the line of action. You, you can bring your force over here, it would cause the same moment. You can bring your force over here and it would cause the same moment. I think if you bring it over here, you can better see how it would have a counterclockwise rotation. A counterclockwise is positive K. How about this next one? Moment about point O. Force times distance. This one is only three meters, right? What is this perpendicular distance? Perpendicular to the line of action. Here's the line of action. It is three meters away. So this moment would be 21. Um, positive K or negative K? Positive K. Because that would be counterclockwise. The units would be kilonewton meters. Kilonewton meters. All right. Let's keep on going. If we just had one force, it's just force times distance. If we have multiple forces, we'll just add up all the moments. You know, force times distance of this, force times distance of this, force times distance, you know, FD of each of those. Some might be positive, some might be negative. Add them up uh, to get the total moment caused by these three forces. So uh, let's look at the um, moment caused by these forces of about point O. Here's point O. So moment about point O. Let me start with this one. 50 newtons. It's perpendicular distance is 2 meters away. Positive or negative? That would be a negative K moment, right? Because that would cause clockwise. Clockwise is negative K. How about this one? 60 newtons. It's perpendicular distance. Now let's be very careful. Perpendicular distance, perpendicular to the line of action. Here is the line of action. Here is the line of action. What's the perpendicular distance? 2.0, 0. It is 0. Uh, so this, I really didn't even need. Does that make sense? Look at that 60 Newton force. Would that cause any rotation about point O? No. It goes straight through O. If your force's line of action goes straight through your point, then there is no moment arm. There is no moment. All right? Uh, so I, I could have neglected that 60 Newton force because it goes straight through O. All right? But then how about this 20 Newton force? It's perpendicular distance. Perpendicular to the line of action would be this distance right here. This distance right here, 330 degrees, let's see, 3 sine 30 would be its um, perpendicular distance. This would cause a clockwise, so a positive K rotation. And then 40 newtons and its perpendicular distance would be this whole distance right here, 4 and uh, 3 cosine 30 this one would be negative K. So I've got negative 100, positive uh, this number, negative this number. Add them all up. My total moment caused by these four forces, negative 333.9 uh, in, in the negative K direction. Units on all of those were Newton meters. Box in my answer. So that was those four forces in total caused an equivalent moment of negative 333.9 newton meters. Okay, but be careful, these problems, uh, about what point I'm asking you to calculate the moment about. All right, read the problem carefully. Um, those I wanted to calculate the moment about. Oh, these, let's, same four forces, and only worry about these four forces, and what those four forces, how those four forces create a moment about a certain point. So let's calculate the force, I mean the moment about point A for those four forces. Let's start with this 20. That goes straight through A. There's no moment arm, there's no moment, right? That 40 goes straight through A. So there is no moment caused by those two forces. Uh, but the moment about A, let's look at that 60 Newton force. Its perpendicular distance would be this 3 sine 30, creating a, about point A now, creating a clockwise, so a negative K moment. And then this 50, 
and its perpendicular distance would be that distance 2 and 3 cosine 30. So this would be 2 plus 3 cosine 30 in the counterclockwise positive k. So the moment about A, just caused by those four forces, 139.9 uh, in the positive k, Newton meters. So be careful about what um, point you're calculating your moments about. But you see what we're doing. We're just taking a moment times its perpendicular distance and then d denoting whether it's positive or negative. Uh, depending on whether it would cause a clockwise or counterclockwise about or rotation about the point that you are interested in.